Do you think it's wrong? I've done it. Don't hate me. I've done it and it works. So anyway. Three, two, one. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, 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 we are going to talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. These items sold in September. I posted this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group and invited everybody in the group to share their big money bolo. And wait until you see some of these bolos. Um, this is my Facebook group. If you're not in it, definitely go join. Those links are all down below. You can check out my link tree to see all of my links and find me on lots of social media places. So check that out. But Facebook group, almost to 100,000 members. What? Uh, crazy, crazy. So come share a bolo, look for the October post, and I'll put it in a video just like this. The first one here, it says, Hi, Courtney. Picked up a baggie from the Goodwill for $3.99 minus her senior discount of 20%. So about 45 cents for each listing from the baggie. It had Barbie and Ken clothes, shoes, and some accessories. Parted it into seven eBay listings and sold the pink boom box for $24.99 in about a week or two. I even put a video to show it worked. It's a Barbie boom box and it works. What? It works? Is it battery operated or what? Check it out. Would you have thought that something this tiny could sell for so much money? Now, is this a $100 Barbie boom box? No, but $24.99 is fantastic. I love it. I love selling small toys. So that one, I love it. And I'm sure that a lot of you that watch me are feeling the same way right now. I got this at the Goodwill Benz for about $2. Listed it as an auction starting at $99.99 with a buy it now price of $199.99 plus shipping. Someone snapped it up within 24 hours on the buy it now. Ah! Uh, I wouldn't have known what it was if not for the description on the tag. And if I ever find another World War II item again, I will price it much higher. Yeah, so I probably would have just let the auction ride on that one. Uh, I never put a buy it now on my auctions. I think it charges you, number one, and I'm just cheap. And number two, usually if I'm putting an item on auction, it's probably a harder to find item. So I kind of want to see what the market does. Now, what I do do, <laughs> what I do do is I add best offer. And my husband's like, why do you do that? Because I'm always like, hey, husband, um, I have a question for you. I've got this on auction and they offered me $500 and I have it on auction for 400. And he's like, take it. And I'm like, but what if it goes up to 600? And he's like, why do you put best offer on it? I'm going to tell you guys why I put best offer on it. Because if I list an item and I get five best offers within 10 minutes of listing the item, I know do not accept any of those offers and let the auction go. Because you've got five people right off the bat that are probably going to be in a bidding war. Now, when it gets tricky is if you have the auction starting at 100 and somebody offers you 500. So what I have done in the past, and some of you may or may not agree with this method. I know I talked about this in another video. Somebody else did it. If somebody offers me 500, sometimes if there's no bids on your item, you can go in and change the start price. It is fair game. That person that made you the offer of 500, they could have bid on the item at 100. They didn't. They're trying to negotiate with you through messages or through best offer. So you can go in and you can change your start price to $500. And I'm going to tell you, I've done it before and the item still sold. Everything was fine. I didn't get any negative feedback. So what do you guys think about that? Have you ever done it? Would you do it? Do you think it's wrong? Do you think it's right? Could you potentially lose a sale? Maybe the person that saw it at 100 and saw you changed it to 500, 
they might be mad and move on their way, but I'm guessing if it's at 100 and they're offering you 500, it's probably worth 800. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So they're probably not going anywhere. So just a little food for thought. <laughs> what is that? Food for thought. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about that down there in the comments. Um, I want to hear what you have to say. Have you done it? Would you do it? Do you think it's wrong? I've done it. Don't hate me. I've done it and it works. So anyway, moving on to the next bolo. Can't wait to see what you guys write in the comments. Whatever your opinion is, be nice. Be nice. You can say it in a nice way, even if you don't agree. All right, here we go. I say we're all resellers and, you know, we're looking to get the most for our, our item. Okay. Especially on selling platforms such as, you know, the platforms we sell on. Now, if you're on whatnot, I'm selling things at low starting prices and I have no expectations over there. None, 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 none. I just um, hope people get in a bidding war, but it doesn't always happen. And a lot of times I sell my items for $5 or less and I'm completely fine with that on whatnot. Whatnot, whatnot, whatnot is a completely different platform. So that's a whole nother idea of selling. And you know, it's funny because I may list it, let it sit, until the right buyer comes along. List high, wait for the right buyer. That has always been what I have talked about. On Whatnot, nope, totally different story. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like Whatnot because of that. I sell everything at a start price of $5 or less. There have been very few times where I've started something higher than $5. And it's just different. And I absolutely love it. Can you believe it? It's like, it's quick money. You're selling a lot of stuff in a short period of time for less. And a lot of times resellers are buying from you, okay? So if you wanna check out Whatnot, there is a link down below. That is my referral link. You're gonna get $15 to shop when you use that referral link to join. But better yet, if you want to sell on Whatnot, there is a link down below. Once you join, you can use my seller's link. It's separate and that will say that I referred you to them and then it'll take you through the process of getting accepted. So check that out. And I just did two tutorials recently on how to sell on whatnot. So check out those videos, see if it's something you're interested in. I absolutely love it. It took me a long time to actually do it. I signed up and then I didn't do it. And I was like, what was I waiting for? It's awesome. So if you're looking for another avenue to move inventory, it's a lot of fun, but you do have to go live. So if you're not comfortable going live, it may not be for you, but you can also go live and just show your hands and talk. So you don't have to have your face in the screen. That's up to you. All right, enough about whatnot. Um, this one. Picked this up at an estate sale off a person who passed and owned an antique store and was a reseller. The entire garage was filled of boxes of stuff with price tags on them. I picked up quite a few brand name items and this Trader Joe's bag with the tags on it was one of them. I paid 50 cents for it. When I got home and put it into my inventory, I laughed and said, let me take a picture on eBay and see what it's going for. And I almost fell on the floor because there had been one that sold for 45. So I put mine up for $39 and I got full price after about a week, after about a week later. So it's a Trader Joe's bag. And if you wanna know more about bags that sell for big money, check out Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle. She has a video on Let's Talk About It and she talks about things such as this. All right. I picked up this Folly utensils from a garage sale for 25 cents, sold for full asking price. Set of three Folly light blue nylon utensils, $52.99. I picked up this awesome plush at the Denver Goodwill Outlet Bins store for $1.69 per pound. So I probably paid so I probably paid about $1.50 for him. He is a plush doll from the movie Labyrinth, starring David. Is it Bowie? He was created by Jim Henson, The Muppets. Sold him on auction for $449. One of my best finds from the Goodwill Bins. It is a Labyrinth Sir D. 
Didymus plush doll, 1986. How cool is that? I love a good Wilbins Bolo find. Found it in the Goodwill. Oh, wait. Found it in a Goodwill $3.99 grab bag. Listed it and sold it for $55. Authentic Littlest Pet Shop Short Haired Leopard. But some of these can go for big money. They are collectible. So be on the lookout for sure. This is a Hazel Atlas Blue Royal Lace Creamer and Sugar Set that I got from an estate sale. It was the final day and everything was half off. The cream and sugar set was five and I looked it up on eBay before buying and saw nice sold numbers of 35 to 45 for most of the Hazel Atlas items. I also bought matching candlesticks, also $5, that sold for $38.95. So I listed this set at $38.95. When the auction ended, the set sold for $112.50. Very exciting auction. This is what they look like. This one comes from Bola Buddies member, Piece of Scrap. Paid $4 at the Goodwill, sold in mid-September for $62 shipped on eBay. It is a new with tags J. Crew swimsuit, ro ruched, ruched <laughs> sides. That means they're like scrunched and supposed to be more flattering. Uh, one piece swimsuit, size 14. This one comes from God Junk in Our Trunk. Rhonda, who is a moderator of this Facebook group. So show her some love with a sub and she's going to be selling on Whatnot soon also. So check her out on Whatnot. Again, $15 to shop if you use that link down below. So go find her and show her some love, guys. Follow on Whatnot and definitely um, follow on YouTube. She has really awesome what sold videos. She finds the coolest things that she sells. Wonder if anything is worth selling if you purchased on Timu. Bought for $1.79 with free shipping. Sold immediately for my list price of $14.99 plus my added shipping. I have sourced several small jewelry items and yep, they sell and very quickly. They are a rainbow daisy earrings, flower happy face statement, multicolored boho hippie. And this is what they look like. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member, The Money Worth. YouTube uh, eBay, everywhere, the money worth. Bought at the Goodwill bins. I usually pick up sealed stationery, paper, I'm sorry, photo paper, stickers, and so on. I go, I'm sorry, I got this for about a dollar, sold for $16.99 plus shipping, and sold within two days, and this is what it looks like. You guys, I'm reading from Facebook, so sometimes there's typos, so that said go, and it was supposed to be got, so if I stutter, sometimes it's just a matter of, uh, when I'm reading. So, you know, sometimes we have typos when we type and sometimes things autocorrect. <laughs> so sometimes things are really hard to read. Here is another one. I bought this for a dollar. Didn't realize Pixie was such a great brand. Bought for a dollar. Uh, I'm sorry, bought this on dollar day at a local Amazon bin store and sold it for 16 plus shipping. Pixie by Petra Ruby on the Glow Blush Tinted Moisture Stick. Bought at the Goodwill Bins for a dollar. Sold for 20 plus shipping. I'm currently posting anything Halloween and even Christmas now to get ahead of the seasonal decorations. I miss when Christmas decorations were out around November. Some stores already have out Christmas decor. I'm not ready for that. It is a... Celebrate Halloween Boo LED light up wall sign from 2018 still in the box. So bought for a dollar, sold for 20 plus shipping. All right, here's one more from the money worth. Went to a local high school. They were having a yard sale to raise money for project graduation. I bought a large lot of dinosaurs. I think it was about 10 for about 15 to 20 dinos. I have seen some good brands, so I went for it. This is one of the better ones, sold for $39.99. Yes, these plastic dinosaurs, some of them go for big money for sure. Uh, Carnegie Collection Safari LTD Giga Natasaurus. Never heard of that kind of dinosaur, but it sold for $39.99, and that's what it looks like. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member I'm a Resell It. This is his YouTube channel. Check it out. He said, I was sourcing at the flea market and walked past this vendor three times before finally buying it. 
I was being a bit stubborn and didn't want to pay up for it. The lock is brand new with a strong sell-through rate. I ended up paying $72 for it. He originally wanted $100. Listed it for $200 plus shipping and it sold in three days. Lesson here is sometimes it's okay to pay up for items. So I'm going to agree. I'm really cheap too. You probably couldn't have got me to pay $72 for a lock, even if I knew I could sell it for $200 <laughs> because I'm cheap. So anyhow, uh, he did look at the sell-through rate. He did his homework and he sold it. And it sounds like he sold it fast. So definitely a good pickup and a good lesson for all of us to learn, right? If you've got the money to invest in things like that and be willing to sit on them, it's worth it. But I think what he's telling us here is because the sell the sell through rate was so good, that's why he bought it. But it took him what? What did he say? He walked past it three times? All right. Pick this Smokey the Bear up at a garage sale with Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. Paid 25 cents. Yes, it needed some love, but the age I figured sell as is. Listed it on 922 and sold it on 925. Sold for 45 the asking price. Not a, not a bad way to turn a quarter. Definitely not. It is a piggy bank, right? No. Was it? No, it's not a piggy bank. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's just Smokey the Bear. And she sold this on Poshmark. Smokey the Bear. 45 bucks. All right, you guys, we are going to stop there. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Go check out my Facebook group. There is a link down below under my link tree for the Facebook group. And come share an October bolo. I want to see your bolo. Um, it doesn't have to be huge money, but if it's unexpected and something that is going to help other resellers, we would love for you to come over and share. Meaning we as in the entire Facebook group and everybody that watches this video. Because we are all learning together. So when you guys share, that helps us all learn. So thank you all so much. And thank you for being here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching. Did I already say that? I don't know if I already said that. But thanks for watching. $1.50. <coughs> <coughs> Hold on, choking. Oh, excuse me. Let me get a drink. Okay, here we go.